Hey, Gary Baker here with 30minutemarketing.net. In today's quick video, we're going to take a look at how to create a puzzle book using Microsoft Word. Now, we're continuing along in this low content publishing series, if you will, where we're talking about creating puzzle books. And one of the things that has been brought to my attention is when you create the puzzle book using Puzzle Book Mastery. For example, we've been using the word search. So we create our word search there. And we go ahead and we bring that down into a zip file. But of course, the zip file is in PDF format. But we want to be able to change a few things or even reorganize the puzzles, the word search puzzles, and maybe add some other puzzles in there as we saw in Simply Maze Crazy. Of course, you can see the Simply Maze Crazy review in this card. And of course, I'll cover the puzzle book mastery complete review in that card right there. So... Let's go ahead and just download this real quick and make those puzzles. So as you can see here, it's going to give us the option to download the zip files. We'll go ahead and we'll click there and you'll see that we'll get a puzzle set.zip file. We'll go ahead and we'll open that up. And what it'll do, it'll launch that. It'll give us a directory. And inside that directory, we have our puzzle files. But of course, as you can see, they are in PDF. And when we open the word search file, We'll have it open and you can see that there it is but we can't edit anything inside of this now possibly if you have uh, advanced software that understands PDF and can do it uh, you could edit it right on your computer but in this case we're looking at options where we can download the PDF and then convert it to something that more people will have readily on their computers. Microsoft Word being an example. So we'll head over to ilovepdf.com. Of course, all the links for everything I talk about in this video will be in the description. And we'll go over to ilovepdf.com. And as you can see here, they have a convert PDF, PDF to Word. And we're just going to select that real quick. And then we're going to select our PDF file. Of course, the PDF file that we are going to select is the new one we just downloaded. And we're going to select the wordsearch.pdf. We're going to click open. That's going to think about that once we hit the convert the word button. And then when we hit the convert the word button, we're going to be able to download that into Word. And there you can see it's a docx and we've downloaded it to our computer. We'll go ahead and we'll open that up in Word. And now you can see we're in Word and we have the ability to edit this. Okay. And of course, this puzzle book number right here of course, is a, a header section. So you could change that to just simply say puzzle books. You could just have it say puzzle, of course, whatever you want to do, puzzle books, books, or you could just leave it the way it is, or you could just delete it all together. So now you close that, and now the header is going to be gone from every page, so you don't have that puzzle one, puzzle two, as we saw on the PDF. Okay, so, but now what if we want to have a word search and a maze, and then another word search, okay? Uh, a little tip here is right here on the screen, if you see this little carriage return symbol, it says show all non-printing characters. This will give you the characters here, and it will give you the carriage returns, which again is this little symbol here, and it's going to show you a the page break sections, which are under insert, and then, of course, here under Pages, you have the ability to enter a page break. So then, of course, when you convert it back to a PDF, it'll be aligned one puzzle per page. Okay? So we'll leave that on for now. And what we'll do is we will grab a maze from Simply Maze Crazy. And right here, we'll create a maze. Of course, in the description, right here on this video, we've gone over Simply Maze Crazy before in a, in a complete review. I'll go ahead and link that up there. But in this case, we'll just go ahead and generate a relatively easy maze. We'll go ahead and generate that maze. And then we will download that maze. And right there, you can see that we've downloaded it. You can open that up, and that'll be a PNG with a transparent background. So, of course, it, it shows up in black in my uh, viewer here on my Mac. So you'll need to add the background, which Word will add that background, or the white background. So we'll go back to Microsoft Word. We'll open that up. And as you can see here, we're in there and we have the ability to edit it. So we'll go ahead and we will insert a blank page. Okay. Blank page. And now we have the ability to insert a picture 
and we'll picture from file and then we'll select that maze and then that maze will pop right in there and now we have our maze and then we'll go ahead and we'll center that and of course you can add your text and of course you can go ahead and put some extra carriage returns in here get it centered right you could uh, of course you could add you can add text in here at any point text here right solve the maze and then of course it's typical word you could bold it all that good kind of stuff change the font make it a little bigger you get the general idea okay so now what you've done is you've inserted we'll go ahead and see if we can delete that out of the way so now you've inserted a maze in here between the mazes so now you're just going to go and you're going to go up and you're going to file save as and now you're going to convert it back into a PDF. Of course, we're going to set, select the file format, and the file format is going to be PDF. And we're going to export it right there. Word is converting that back into a PDF. And then when it's finished, you'll see that we go back to downloads. It saved it right there. Now you have your word search puzzle with your first search. And of course, the animals is going to show you that real quick so you can see the difference right here and we edit it this is the original one see how it said puzzle one and then the next one it said puzzle two uh, a lot of people have said that they don't like that so i was like well we can just edit that right out in word so now that's gone and right there text here solve the maze now you have a more complete puzzle book so you have an activity book in this case all right so again that is how to take a word search that you've created in Puzzle Book Mastery and a maze that you've created in Simply Maze Crazy and convert it to PDF over at ilovepdf.com. Download it all. Start editing in Word. Add, add things in as you need, as you see it fit, as you want your puzzle book to look. And then you have a complete puzzle book. You're able to edit in Word. And then you're able to convert it back to PDF. And then you're able to, of course, sell it. And that's what it's all about, right? So again, this is Gary Baker with 30MinuteMarketing.net. Give me a thumbs up if this has been helpful. Thumbs down if it didn't do anything for you. Of course, leave me a comment and tell me uh, why you liked it if you did if you did like it and why you didn't like it if you didn't. All right, be, be sure to subscribe. Uh, the little uh, click the bell to get all the notifications for the new videos so you don't miss anything. And uh, we'll talk to you later. Bye.